And all of this, in my opinion, is a perpetrated fraud designed to what? Put up in your mind a psychological operation that you can't know who Jesus was. Tonight we'll talk about that because they're searching for Jesus. They're searching for the historical Jesus. Can you help find Him? I want to pin... Now listen, I'm not talking about the real Jesus when I say this, but I want to pin the tail on the historical Jesus. Why? Because there was no such thing. The historical Jesus we're going to find out tonight is a Jesus that the world does not want to accept. And now even evangelicals are searching for the fraud. See, the historical Jesus means I don't like the Jesus of the Bible. So I'm going to find the Jesus, historical Jesus. That's a philosophical term designed to destroy Christianity. So what do evangelical critical scholars do, in my opinion? Jump on board. Gzikte is a psychological operation on your mind when you get to seminary to make you think when you read the Gospels, you're not seeing Jesus. You're seeing a filtered block wall. <laughs> You have to look at sources and then what the early church form or the forms they preached about. Then you have to look at how some unknown writer, we call that redactions gejikte. Don't step in the gejikte. And by the time you're done, you are destroyed in your faith because you don't know that these are living documents of the Holy Spirit of eyewitnesses who are telling you exactly the way Jesus was. And by the way, only the Jesus of the Gospels saves. The historical Jesus is a fraud. He never, and it doesn't mean Jesus in history, it's historical Jesus, Jesus we want because we don't like the Jesus of the Bible. So when evangelicals use that term, I'm asking them, do you know how this developed? And if you do, why are you ignoring its historical development? Are you whitewashing it? 